Welcome to an open source tutorial. The goal of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to create tasks on your calendar. Unlike events which are considered a larger action unit and are normally associated with milestones, tasks are the smaller action units that usually make up an event. So for instance, if you look here at the dashboard, we have an event called the Y10 contract signing and that's due to take place on the 9th of May. I would like to create a task that is part of the build-up towards this event, the contract signing. And so to create a new task, I go to the action menu and select create new task. First we give this task a name, so we're going to call it the Y10 contract review. Now we'd like to add a description, let's say review contract with legal team. Now let's associate this task with the contract due to be signed. We're going to go to our folder and find this contract, in this case, Y10 contract. Associate. Recall the main event takes place on May 9th, so we're going to set it for at least three days before that. And we ask ourselves, is this a recurring task? In this case, we'll say no. And now we need to assign this role to someone. Um, and we can do it by role by selecting for the drop down menu or we could do it by email by selecting someone from a list of people in your organization customized for the platform. We can add more recipients if need be and we can add reminders. Let's do that. We're going to set the reminder for two days before the task. That's it. Let's save the task and see what happens. First of all we can see in the My Tasks section of the dashboard that this new task has been added. You can see the name of the task, the person associated with the task, the owner, the date on which the task should take place, and the associated file. Let's take a look at the calendar now, and we'll notice immediately that the task is over here. And you'll notice it here. Tasks on our calendar. We've set a reminder. Remember, we set a reminder for two days before the 6th, so that would be on the 4th. Yes, here it is. And reminders, of course, are noted in pink on the calendar. So we have a reminder for the contract review on the 4th, the actual contract review. We have a reminder for the signing for the contract on the 7th, and we have the contract signing itself on the 9th. So here you have a good example of a task and a reminder for the task supporting an event on your calendar. When we hover over the task, we have three options highlighted here. Editing it allows us to go into the actual details of the task itself and change any of the details we just filled in when we created it in the first place, but we can also mark it as done here to remove the task from the calendar and to have it noted as completed. We can also access the actual document itself and we can access the term sheet associated with that document. Thank you for watching and please visit our blog to see more video tutorials.